Hey there everyone and welcome back to the AI Playbook. Today we're going to be taking a look at a web app called Tactic that's going to make you boost your productivity and be able to increase the amount of prospects and clients that you manage. So Tactic is a real-time transcription and note-taking tool and I have been using it for myself for the past month and it has really improved the way in which I manage uh, meetings, uh, even preparation of the meetings and how to make follow-ups on every, every client and person that I talk to. So it's really easy to use and we're going to take a look at how to install it and how to use it and also how much you can do with it with the power of AI. So let's dive in. So similarly to what we did in the last video, we're going to go into the Chrome Web Store and look for Tactic, written this way, and we're going to go and add it to our Chrome browser. We're going to add the extension, and as I already had some transcripts made and some meetings made, uh, I already have an account, but if not, you, if not, you can log in with your Google account and you will be able to start transcribing your meetings. It can be on Zoom, on Microsoft Teams, and also Google Meets as well, and some other. Just remember to click on the extensions button up here and make sure that Tactic is pinned so that you are always 100% sure that when you start a call you're going to have like the panel on the right as we will see right now which means that Tactic is working. So let's move on how to use this tool. So here you can take a look at what a call using Tactic looks like. Um, in this case I made a call with myself so that I could show you what it's about. Um, you're going to have on the right the panel of Tactic automatically displayed in which you're going to see the transcript being done automatically. Of course, if you're transcribing in English, you're going to get that for like by default, uh, transcribing English, but you can change that to other languages, so that's uh, a good um, tool as well. In this case, I was just talking with myself in a, in a made-up call uh, in which I was describing what you would do with Tactic. It's really easy to use because you don't have to actually start any program before you are trying to transcribe a call, so that's really useful. And then you have the notes um, panel right there, right? Um, first you, you have like the, the transcript and then on the right you have the notes in which you can access that uh, tab and you can start taking some notes. This is also useful if you find yourself uh, wanting to remember something and you want to take a note about it, well, you don't have to use like a third-party application to do that. You can just do it directly. As you can see, I can access the notes there and start typing my notes. For example, in this case, I was writing, this is a good meeting. Um, but if you are used to taking notes, well, just remember you can do it directly on Tactic. You do not have to use a third-party app. So for this video, I have the paid subscription to Tactic. This is because I wanted to be sure that you could see how the AI summary works. Nowadays, we, there's like a little bit of a scaling problem Tactic's facing because summary with AI and other tools that are AI powered are having trouble with the scaling side, let's say. A lot of people are trying to get into these apps, so it's like the, the same thing happening with ChatGPT. It's sometimes it's difficult to access to, to the tools powered by AI. So when you try to make like the AI summary for a meeting or when you try to make the action list for a meeting that we are going to see in a minute, um, you may have trouble because the network's really busy and that's making it difficult to access. But if you pay for the subscription that we are going to cover that information in the end, you are going to be able 100% of the time to use the AI powered tools. So as I said before, once you finish a call, Tactic's going to open up automatically and you're going to be able to see your transcript. So when we click on a transcript, for example, I'm going to click on the call I had with myself, you are, you are going to see the name and you can rename this because of course it's not very intuitive like having a meeting transcription and the date for, for a meeting. So you want you may want to change that and for example, instead of meeting transcription, you can sell um, new lead. Um, like this, so this is myself and I can have like a much more intuitive name and also if I'm taking a look at all of my transcripts it's easier to localize a special conversation. Another useful thing you can do is create labels. When you create a label you can create new ones but you are going to be able to group conversations and transcripts for for example a specific um, information or description. Let's imagine you have you want to have all your new leads identified. Well, you can have like a label called new leads in which you all, all of the conversations you have with new leads or prospects, you can add them to or you can add this label to them and then you can access it like much easier. So when you have maybe three transcripts, it's not so useful. But when you have maybe 100, it's really useful to be able to click on a 
tag and have all the conversations with, of that group. So as I said before, I'm going to show you now on a conversation I had with my friend Gabriel, what you can do with the AI power tools. So you could just access any transcription you'd like. In this case, I cannot change the name of this transcription because it was shared with me. I recorded it with my other profile or with another profile and not with this account, but I do have the 10 AI credits left. If you have a free account, you're just going to have five uh, free AI credits. And once you use like a tool, for example, generate AI summary, you're going to spend one. This is not a very good thing uh, from the tactics side. I think if you are paying for the subscription, only having 10 AI credits is too little because if you are really, if you really want to scale like your ma prospect management game, uh, it's really difficult to do it if you only have 10 credits because you might you might want to make like maybe 50 AI summaries uh, a month. So 10 credits is a little bit too low. So that could be a disadvantage from tactics side. But let's just click on, for example, generate AI summary. We just have to wait a couple seconds and there you have it. Gabriel and Kevin talk software class, screen sharing, subscription, lead management, meeting summaries and video shorts for management, for engagement, sorry. Um, so then you have like uh, some bullet points of what each of the, of the participants said in the call. This is something not very good about tactic is that it's not always so accurate as you might want it to be. Sometimes it has like its own errors and mistakes. So it, it will say, for example, in this case, Kevin's software engineering class. That's something I mentioned at the beginning of a 15 minute call. So I don't know if it should have remembered this, but sometimes it's better that it remembers more things actually. And then if you don't want to use them, that's fine. But uh, the tactic actually remembered it. You can also click on action items. Action items will just create a list of what should be done after the call because of what was said like for example yes if you are talking with someone and you said yes I'm, I'm I commit myself to do this by next week well a tactic going to remember and it's going to show it to you when you click on generate action ideas in this meeting I don't remember really if I did or we like like agreed on some action items but either way you can see what tactic remembered in this case I said I was going to cancel the subscription after testing it out. In this case, we were talking about tactic exactly. So that's a, a good example because it's something I said I was going to do. And that's also true that my friend Gabriel uh, talked about looking for good next topics for some videos, for example. So it's actually a very accurate um, action list. Again, sometimes tactic can remember uh, a lot more. Um, for example, give you a very long uh, item list or action list, action item list. You just have to pick those that actually make sense to you. Uh, sometimes, as I said before, it's better to remember more things and then you can choose than actually having like two or three things and leaving some important things out. And finally, you have like the next meeting agenda. You can generate this. In this case, I don't remember if I, if I really talked about this. Uh, of, our next, of having a next meeting. In this case, uh, Tactic remembers something. Um, so yeah, this is something you, sh you could use, for example, for next time. Maybe if you um, are having a long relationship with a customer and you want to be able to keep up with the meetings and give good follow-up, this is a very good idea because you can, um, you, you know, when you go into the transcript and look into the meeting you had before, you know what you, are, you, what you should be talking about in the next meeting. So that's also useful. So here are some things you could do with Tactic. Uh, one of them is give good follow-up. Sometimes when you have lots of customers or lots of new leads or you actually are talking with lots of people uh, every week so you actually don't remember um, who you talk to about what, Tactic can be a really, really good assistant because you can just go into a transcript, take a look at what you talked about, take a look at the summary. Again, if you do not have a paid version, you are just going to have five uh, AI credits. This is a little bit too low, again, as I said before. And um, if you pay for the subscription, that's like $9 or $10 a month, if you pay monthly, you just have 10 credits, 10 AI credits, which is again, very, very low, because if you are going to, if you're trying to pay for this tool to actually scale your operations and scale your management with, with prospects and new leads and clients, 10 credits is really, really low. So that's something I would recommend Tactic to improve. Another thing you can do in the sense of increasing productivity is just checking the notes or the summary of the last meeting for a new meeting you're going to have. Like for example, if you wake up and you remember you have a meeting and you don't, you didn't prepare it, well, you can take a look at what you talked last time in a really short summary and just be prepared for the meeting. So that's a way in which you could increase, the, increase your own productivity. And lastly, just remember Tactic is going to have the whole transcript for your meeting so 
that's something you could really use with the power of AI. You can actually get AI uh, with other tools to give you tips to improve your sales game. So that's something really, really advanced and something I think not a lot of people think about. But if you want to know how to do that, you can contact us at our email address. I'm going to leave it down here where we will be happy to help you to use AI to scale your game and to add it to your own processes. So that's it for today's video. Tactics, a really good tool, a really good assistant or can work like a really good assistant. So take a look at it. Use the five free credits. You can have another five free uh, AI credits for each account you open. And uh, if you are decided to pay, just remember you only have 10 AI credits, which is not a lot. Um, so take that into account. But I am really excited to see what this uh, tool evolves to be, maybe with more AI credits or a different offer for the paid subscription, but we'll see about that. So we'll see you in the next video. Please leave thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.